today's video is going to be a haul, kind of a random haul, and I've had some of these things long enough so that I can tell you if I liked them or not. The first thing that I've absolutely been loving is the Remington Curling Wand. And I'm sure some of you have seen this. It looks like this. It doesn't have the clamp. Um, it, I bought it at Ulta. I think it's $29.99, either $29 or $39. And it comes in a box like this. And it also comes with a glove, but the glove is too big for my hands, so it kind of slides all over the place. I did a tutorial using this on Jill's hair, and I'll link that video below. And then I did my own hair in a video about three weeks ago. I can't remember. It was one where I had a green shirt on and my hair was real curly. I love this thing because I think it mimics the way natural spiral curls fall. And I like it also because I don't have to use it on the highest setting for my hair. So I think I can put it on about 350 for my hair. And it curls within five to seven seconds. And the curls stay all day. And I don't even have to put hairspray on it before or anything. So I've really been liking this thing. And I will do probably another tutorial on myself using it as well. The next thing that I got was the Benefit Bad Gal Lash Mascara. And I am loving this mascara. And I think the reason why I like it so much is because it has a really thick wand. Um, if you can see this. The wand, oops, is super thick. And I love that because that way I feel like I can really get my top lashes really well. I only use this on my top lashes. I've always been one where I use something different on my bottom lashes. I use one by Clinique, but it's not the bottom lash mascara. It's just... They're naturally glossy. I, that works best on my bottom lashes. But I've been loving the Bad Gal Lash Mascara by Benefit. Love it, love it. I feel like it thickens and lengthens, and I've really been enjoying it. So I would probably repurchase this again. The other thing that I got was the, I heard a lot about the Hourglass Concealer. And so I first went to Sephora, and they were out of the, um, the pearl color. So she recommended that I get the medium one. I forgot the name of it, but there's one that's light, medium, and dark. And so I got the medium one, and when I took it home, it just, it didn't brighten. It concealed, but it didn't do anything that I wanted it to do. So I ended up getting the Hourglass in Pearl, and this is the one that is, um, you know, I mean, it's much lighter than my, my skin color but I feel like it really brightens up under my eyes. So I've really been enjoying this and I probably would repurchase this again. I put this on using a fluffy brush. So I actually just take the brush and dip it right here and just put it on with the brush. I put this on in the area under, like where I kind of have the, the bags to try to lighten them. And I put the Bobbi Brown Corrective con Corrector in light to medium bisque under my eyes first to hide the dark circles. So the two of these have been working pretty well. The other thing that I got, and I'm kind of jumping all over the place, but I got this at a CCO, was the, um, they had a creamy concealer kit, and they had the concealer color that I use, which is beige, and they have it with the setting powder underneath, which I've never used their setting powder. It looks like it has a yellow tint to it. So if anyone's used this, let me know. It says pale yellow sheer finish loose powder and it comes with a little puff to kind of press it in. I haven't used this yet because I feel like the hourglass and the corrector has been working well for me. The other thing that I got was a new Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer. And I love this stuff. I know there's some people that it just doesn't work well for their skin. I feel like if you've got dry skin, it really does work well. If you have oily skin, you probably want to try the oil-free version, which is in the burgundy container. This one is in the gray container. And I ended up switching colors this year, and I got the color Bisque. And it works so much better on my skin than the sand. So I'm just going to swatch these two for you. The Bisque is what I've really been liking this year. Maybe it's because my sunscreen's working better and I'm not getting my face as tan. There's not that much difference in these colors, but the one on the top, that is the bisque, and the one on the bottom is the sand. So the bisque is just a tad bit lighter, and 
I'm really liking it. Lately, I've just been putting that bisque all over my face. I've been setting it with the La Mercier loose, translucent powder, wearing like some, you know, peachy coral colored lipstick and a little bit of peach eyeshadow and just running out the door. Um, speaking of the lipstick, I got two new ones. One of them is, I have never tried the Buxom lipstick. It's called the Buxom Big and Healthy Lipstick. This one is in the color Amsterdam. And what I love about the Buxom lip products is that they give your lips that tingly sensation. And so it's not really a plumping, but it tingles and it, I don't know, it makes them feel great. And this color is called Amsterdam and it's kind of a coral, it, it's not real pigmented if you can see it right here, but I just love it. It's, it's one of those that you can just throw on without looking in a mirror. You can just put it on and it's a great color. I think it would work with a lot of skin types. The other one that I was gonna show you is, is um, a Clinique one that I actually got at the CCO, which is the cosmetic company outlet. And I normally don't like Clinique lipsticks. I feel like they're too sheer. They wear off. They're just, they just don't work for me. This one though is called High Impact SPF color, lip color. Um, and the color is Honey Blush. And I have it on today with a little bit of the Revlon Coral Reef over it. And it's a pretty, um, it's a pretty coral color. These two colors are actually similar. The top one is the one by Buxom, and the bottom one is the Clinique one. So the top one is just a little more pink, the bottom one is more peach. And so I've been enjoying that. Like I said, I'm not a big Clinique lipstick fan, but I like this one. Maybe it's the high impact that lasts longer. Another thing I was gonna share with you is that I got picked up the um, at the CCO as well, so I'm not sure if they make this one anymore. It's a Bobbi Brown Long Wear Gel Eyeliner in Black Mauve. And I just like this color. It's, it's not really black and it's not mauve. It's, um, it's kind of like a blackish brown. And I like it because it's not as stark as a true black, but it's not as light as a brown. So I have that one on today. I don't know if you can see from there, but um, I've been liking this eyeliner, and in fact, I've been putting it on with a brush that I got from Michael's, the craft store. It's, I don't see a name on this brush, but it's the one, it's got a blue handle, and it's got a white grip right here, and it's got an angled, an angled liner, and it's really easy to get close to your lash line with, so that's kind of what it looks like. I don't see a number or anything on it. Um, but I've been liking this. This was probably $3. I kind of alternate between this one and the Smashbox one. I like this one because I can get close to my eyelashes, but I like the other one because when you're doing your left hand and you're trying to go over the curve of your eye, it's easier because it's angled. So anyway, um, the other thing that I got and would not repurchase again was the Macadamia Natural Oil Rejuvenating Shampoo and Moisturizing Rinse. And I should have probably known when it said Moisturizing Rinse that it wasn't gonna give me the hydration that I needed, um, but I thought I'd try it anyway. The one good thing is that it smells wonderful. I mean, it, is, it smells great, but it just, it was one of those shampoo and conditioners that it didn't really do anything. It didn't feel any, I didn't feel any hydration, it didn't feel softer, it smelled good and it lathered great, but I just, I wouldn't repurchase this again. I also wanted to show you one last thing, and that is in Dallas, I was there last week, and actually I got some clothes and shoes too, I'll probably do another haul, but for this one I just wanted to show you, these are nylon um, ponytail holders. And they are so cute, and I'm not sure how they made these. I bought them at a store called the Blues Jean Bar. So instead of Blue Jean Bar, it's Blues Jean Bar. And I went on their website, and I didn't find the hair ties, but they had them in the store. And um, they were kind of ridiculously priced for what they are. They were $3.
for the small ones and five dollars for the big ones but the great thing about these is i always throw a rubber band on my hand like if i'm going to play tennis or i'm just out and about and i get hot and these kind of look cuter because they're they're colored and they're not going to pull at your hair or anything so you can just tie these you can use them for ponytail holders and they'll hold a ponytail and they kind of look cute and then when you pull them out your hair does not get stuck because they're made of nylon i think they're made from the tops of a knee high which i want to figure it out because if it if you just cut it and then i think they dye them so i got one in purple one in yellow one in pink and my daughter got one in a pink tie dye so anyway i thought these were really cool and i would share with you if anybody knows where to get them let me know um, other than the place in Dallas. And I hope y'all are having a great summer so far. I hope you have a wonderful 4th of July, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.